Breaking news. See what Jonathan has just done, agreed to do with Buhari, that Nigerians are reacting and saying this is not possible, should never be allowed. Good luck, Ibele Jonathan, backs President Buhari to remove Section 84 of the new Electoral Act put together by the National Assembly. That is good luck, Ibele Jonathan, who wants to be the APC flag bearer uh, as a result of consensus because on a more serious note, truly, really speaking, it has nobody, okay? It has nobody in APC. It has nobody in APC. Good luck, Ibele Jonathan does not have anybody and they say they want to do an indirect primary. There's no delegate member that will vote for him. There is no one that will vote for him. No one. No one. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. As good luck, Ibele Jonathan backs Buhari. Jonathan defends Buhari, backs removal of Section 84 of the Electoral Act, as Nigerians react. Former President Goodluck Ibele Jonathan has recommended the removal of the Section 84 of the new Electoral Act to allow political parties to decide modalities for candidates of election. Section 84, subsection 12 read, no political appointee at any level should be a voting delegate or be voted for at convention or congress of any political party for the purpose of nomination of candidates for any election. President Muhammad Buhari has also expressed his reservation about the section of the Electoral Act. This section of the Electoral Act has prevented the likes of the Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami, and others who intend to participate at one level of election or the other not to contest. Some resigned, others stayed through with their position. The president, through the Minister of Justice, Abuba Kamalami, also filed a suit seeking to nullify the section. However, Jonathan gave his support for the removal of the section at the public presentation of a book titled Political Party Governance by former Minister of State Power, Dr. Mohamed Wakili, on Thursday in Abuja. The former president said that the National Assembly should allow political parties to have the leverage of doing certain things differently as their needs were different for each political party gives parties the leverage. The key thing is that the Independent National Electoral Commission is regulated and regarding them, they are legally carried out. They, make, they mentored them and the system they adopt is approved by the Nigerian government and system. Selecting their candidate must be documented in their constitution and copy deposited in the INEC that is what we must do and we must use to judge political parties. Parties are not to be put on hold to say who will become the presidential candidate. The governor's national assembly cannot make laws that cages political parties. That is why we take this controversial issue very seriously and we want them out. Jonathan also rated as low the ongoing primaries of political parties as to elected candidate of the 2023 general election because of the provision of the 2022 election, electoral act. He said that the primaries where only elected delegates were allowed to be candidates was already a failed process. The National Assembly made alteration on the Electoral Act, and now only what they call the elected delegates are to elect people that will vote. Then one day, Nigeria will go to the polls and think they are voting for a president. But who presented the president and the candidates are all the same and one person. This must not be allowed, Jonathan resolved. So Jonathan has joined on and says, you know what, I support President Muhammad Buhari. I support him 100%.
that um, only delegates should not should not vote. What happened is the National Assembly came up, you know, with um, National Assembly came up with uh, you know the new Electoral Act where they you know tried to make make sure that Nigeria gets the best. Okay, so that in elections our elections could be as transparent as possible. And this is exactly what they've been working at. However, the Attorney General has not been pleased. In fact, he made his interest known. He bought over 200 exotic cars, okay, to give to delegates so that um, they can support, you know, they can support him, you know, to become the Kirby State Governor. Like, he will not collect his money back. He is a good businessman. Nobody invests to want to lose the money. Everybody's making an investment to make returns on their investment. However, this is what has happened. You know, the National Assembly looked at it and said, what, how can we make this thing more transparent? And they amended all that. However, this thing has not gone down well with, with, with a lot of people. Before you could say Jack Robinson, there it goes. The very, you know, the very Attorney General of the Federation was the very first person to go to court, taking the National Assembly to court, taking everybody to court, APC, then INEC, that um, this must be removed, is a fraudulent, blah, blah, blah. I mean, a lot of drama. At the end of the day, that's still on suspension. The likes of uh, Amechi has resigned, Ngige remains, uh, Malami remains. So, I mean, it's been that talk of war is still ongoing there. However, Jonathan, who is, you know, who wants to come and complete his tenure by hook or by crook, yeah, Jonathan has said, you know what, um, let's, let, it's true, they should remove it. He said the whole primaries that is ongoing now uh, does not seem to be going well because um, only, only people who have, um, only people who have been elected are the ones voting. And he made a statement saying that's how Nigerians will get to the polls one day and they will tell them they can't vote, blah, 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 blah. So there is a lot going on in our political terrain and a lot of things we need to correct, okay? And a lot of things we need to begin to re-examine and begin to re-evaluate and put in place. So at the end of the day, you know, we are a better people. Because if we keep quiet and we do know nothing about what is happening now, things will go from bad to worse, okay? Things will go from bad to worse, I can assure you. You know, all that is happening now is a clear indication of how things have been and what we need to do, okay? And what we need to do to begin to put Nigeria back in where it needs to be. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.